So guys, this is the definitive guide on how to set up one of these things, a treasure model T. First and foremost, if you're new to crypto, you might wonder, oh, why do I want one of these anyways? And why is it so ugly looking? Well, when it comes to crypto, because we have to take care of our own coins, I mean, there's a saying, it's your own bank. And you know, sometimes managing a bank is not easy. Security on these devices is super top-notch. That means if your computer or any device is hacked, this will make sure your funds don't get stolen. So making sure that you have one of these and you set it up correctly is super important. So what we did is we got very clear step-by-step -step instructions on what you need to do and what to look out for and what, more importantly, what not to do when you set up one of these devices too. And at the end of the day, also make sure you read up a lot on how to maximize protection on this. I know it sounds so painful, but you'll thank me in the end when this saves your ass. For full disclosure, we are not sponsored by Trezor and we don't have to say anything positive or negative about the device. Hence, I can say it looks super ugly and derpy. That being said, of course, we do have a affiliate link down below and if you buy from it, it does support this channel. So we do get revenue from that. Let's get started. So today I'll be unboxing the Trezor Model T. First and foremost, make sure that you're buying your Trezor from the official site. Uh, they do deliver worldwide. Make sure you're not getting your Trezor from some random websites or even sites like Amazon or eBay because there have been cases where hackers will purchase a Trezor, temper it, and then resell it on third-party websites. So remember to purchase all of your hardware wallets from their official sites just in case because this might expose your wallet to a high risk of getting hacked and all of your assets getting stolen from your wallet. So when you're unboxing your treasure, there should be a plastic film, which I've already removed. And most importantly, make sure that the hologram seal is securely attached to your treasure. Um, you should also find a wire in this box to connect your treasure to your computer. And there should also be some recovery cards in there, which lets you write down your recovery phrase. And if you see that there's already been writing on there or that your treasure has already been set up, that's a huge red flag because that means your Trezor might have been tempered. And after you've unboxed your Trezor, you can now head over to the Trezor site to download Trezor Suite, which is the app used to generate your wallet address and to send and receive coins with. I'll also include the links down in the description box below. So after you've downloaded Trezor Suite, we can now start setting up our Trezor. So firstly, you need to remove the hologram seal on your Trezor and plug it into your computer. So we don't have to allow data collection from Trezor. We can press confirm. Now it's security check time. So our hologram was intact and untampered with when we first opened the box and we bought our Trezor from the official Trezor site and the package wasn't tampered with. So just set up Trezor. And we'll have to update the latest version to our Trezor. Let's install it and continue. So you can recover a wallet or you can simply input your seed phrase and recover your previous wallet into this new Trezor. But today we're gonna create a new wallet and we're gonna go standard seat backup. So the Trezor is, is touch screen and you have to press create wallet on the screen, the green button. And you'll see on your Trezor, uh, the orange sign saying that your Trezor needs a backup. So we will create a backup right now. You'll have to click to confirm that you understand the instructions below. The first one is that um, your seat backup is needed for you to recover your funds in case your treasure is lost or damaged. Tick. Never take a picture or make a digital copy of your backup because this defeats the whole purpose of hardware wallet. Um, your seed phrase needs to be offline and it needs to be written down on one of these recovery phrase sheets. So tick. And after you've written down your seed phrase, make sure you're not sharing it with everyone and make sure no one other than yourself knows where you stored your seed phrase. Tick and begin backup. And you'll also have to confirm once again on your Trezor. Press OK, I understand. And after confirming on your Trezor, Trezor will then show you what your 12 word seat phrase is. And you'll have to write it down on your recovery sheet. Also make sure that you're writing the correct word next to the correct number on your secret recovery sheet. And after you've written everything down, press hold to confirm on your Trezor. And uh, Trezor will now give you a short quiz to make sure that you've written down the correct word. So for example, they'll ask you what the first word in your seed phrase is, and they'll give you three word choices and you just have to pick the correct one. It's three short and easy questions. And after you've finished, press continue on your treasure. And after you've written all the words on this sheet, make sure it's securely stored in a safe place. <laughs> 
And the next step is to set up a pin for your treasure. Continue to pin. You can skip this part, but setting up a pin will basically mean your treasure is more secure. Set pin. And the screen will then show, do you want to enable pin protection? Press enable, and you can enter a new pin. The pin can be up to 50 digits long, so pick whatever pin you want to use. And after re-entering your pin, you have successfully enabled pin protection. Press continue on your treasure, press continue on treasure suite. And after setting up your pin and writing down a secret recovery phrase, it's time to activate some coins and actually create wallet addresses and accounts for the different blockchains that you want to use. So for now, let me choose Bitcoin and Ethereum. If you activate Ethereum, it's going to support ETH and other tokens that are built on the ERC20 chain. So complete setup and setup is finally complete. You can also add a name for your treasure, but you can also skip that and access suite. A hidden wallet basically adds a custom phrase after your uh, 12 word seat phrase. For now, we're gonna choose standard wallet. Now that we've finished setting up your treasure, your treasure is ready to receive some money. So this is the dashboard of Treasure Suite and we can simply press receive. So these are our different wallets. This is the Bitcoin wallet. And if I want to receive some Ethereum, I press receive and show full address. This will be your ETH wallet address and you will also see it on your Trezor and you have to press confirm and copy to clipboard. I can simply go to MetaMask and press send and paste the address here. Make sure your MetaMask is on the Ethereum chain as well and send whichever amount you want. So if you want to send some money from your Trezor to other wallets such as MetaMask or Bybit or Binance, simply go to send and paste your MetaMask address here and input the amount and you can review and send. So you can also add Trezor to your MetaMask wallet. Uh, Trezor Suite is great for receiving and sending money as well as checking what your total balance is. But if you want to use DeFi or other applications, you can connect your Trezor to your MetaMask wallet because MetaMask can then interact with these applications and you can sign your transactions using MetaMask, but your private key will always stay inside the Trezor, which is obviously a lot safer. So you can just go to account and press hardware wallet. So MetaMask supports a few wallets and so we can press Trezor here, press continue. And you also have to make sure that your Trezor is unlocked. So allow once for this session and export public key of Ethereum account. We want to export it. Press standard wallet. And this is the account that we used. Press unlock. And now you have added Trezor to your MetaMask. And another thing you can do on Trezor Suite is you can add tokens on, for example, ERC20 chains. If I want to add some USDT onto my Trezor Suite, I can simply go over to CoinGecko. We can search USDT. And as you can see, this is the contract address, the Ethereum contract address for USDT. So I can simply copy it go back to Trezor Suite and paste and add token. We can see that token is already added. And we go, when we go over to tokens, we can see that USDT is now added to your Trezor Suite and your Trezor is ready to receive some USDT as well. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial very helpful. And I would also like to thank our sponsor for today, Bybit. If you haven't signed up for Bybit, you can sign up with our link down below and you can get up to 30,000 in rewards. We have also done other hardware wallet tutorials, so do check it out if you're interested. And don't forget to like, share, and comment down below if you have any other questions for us. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!